it be great, perhaps, if I could change shape? Actually, thanks to the uh, effects of Photo Booth, I can do that quite easily. I could look like this, for example. Or like this. Or this one is particularly unflattering. But can we do that with real, everyday objects? Well, that's one of the possibilities that seems to be raised by the new science called transformation optics, which is all about manipulating light in a way that alters the appearance of objects from which the light is scattered or reflected or refracted. Now, one tends to hear mostly about the possibility of using this for making ob objects invisible, for creating so-called invisibility cloaks um, that would surround an object and prevent the light from getting into the central part. Essentially what an invis invisibility cloak would do is to manipulate the paths of light so that it goes around the object and returns to its initial course on the far side, just like water going around an obstacle in a stream, so that to an observer on the far side it looks as though the light has passed through empty space. But that's just one of the possibilities that transformation optics raises. And another is that you could alter the way that light interacts with an object so as to give it a, the, the, the appearance of a completely different kind of object. The basic physics of how to do this is well understood, but actually doing it with real materials is quite another matter. It's an area that is called illusion optics. I've recently written about a paper just published in the journal Physical Review Letters which reports an illusion cloak of this sort. It's not the first such design, but it's different from previous designs in that it's more versatile. It is an active rather than a passive device, and what that means is that it's not simply designed to create a particular sort of illusion, but it's made of components that can be tuned so that they create several different kinds of illusion, amongst them invisibility of what's inside the, the cloak. The work has been done by a group in China led by Tia Jun Tsui of the Southeast University in Nanjing. And what they've done here is to create a cloak that doesn't exactly work by manipulating light or electromagnetic radiation of any sort, but it, it manipulates the electric field that is created by the object that is being cloaked. It draws on a principle that has been used in many other contexts for sensing the presence of an object or a structure from the distorting effect that it has on the surrounding electric field. In medicine, for example, this approach is used in a technique called electrical impedance tomography, where electrical measurements made at the surface of an object, say at the surface of skin, can be used to infer what sort of structures lie hidden below. And the same kind of approach has been used in geophysics to look at the electric fields set up by electrodes either at the surface or perhaps down a borehole to, uh, to, to deduce what the structures of the rock are that are hidden beneath the surface. So what the, these researchers have done is to create a device that is basically uh, an electrically conducting plate with a space in the middle in which the cloaked object can be put and it's surrounded by electrical resistors that set up their own flow of electrical currents and this is something that can be manipulated by altering the voltage across all of the, the resistors. So this is why the device is active. It's because one can control the voltage across the resistors that one can manipulate the way the electric field looks and in particular those manipulations can be made such that the, uh, any distorting effects that an object within the centre of the cloak ha would have on an electric field um, are, could be masked out, could be disguised so that the, the object looks invisible or they could be manipulated in some other way so that the object looks other than it does. So for example the team is able to use this cloak 
to make the center of the uh, of of the the plate look either like it's a perfect electrical conductor or like it's a hole that has been cut out so it's a perfect insulator so this is a dem a proof of principle demonstration that at least this form of illusion optics using static electric fields is possible and the researchers say that it's not impossible to imagine using a device like this also to manipulate at least slowly varying low frequency electromagnetic fields so perhaps uh, manipulating the way that radio waves um, are affected or influenced by the hidden object at the center of the cloak it's also possible to use a setup like this to create a kind of thermal cloak or thermal illusion that manipulates the effect that uh, the object w has on the flow of heat throughout the device simply because resistors as they as a current passes through them they heat up and that degree of heating can be controlled to manipulate the thermal field whether or not this can be done with propagating electromagnetic radiation of visible wavelengths is a far deeper challenge um, but at least this shows that in principle these ideas of illusion optics can already be put into practice. This is where you can find out some more about the work I've discussed and illusion optics generally.